Our few days at Luxor had been full of surprises, but still on our to-do list was sailing. The traditional felucas have a flat, wide deck, so we thought the access would be okay. We hadn't thought too much, though, about getting in and out of the boat. Hamad, our taxi driver slash fixer, arranged with his friend for a sunset sail. So in the warm afternoon light, and with a sense of adventure, we headed to Luxor's waterfront, the Corniche. There was no trouble taking the ramp down, but we soon found an unexpected but somehow typical Egyptian accessibility problem. The gateway to the jetty was blocked by a concrete slab. We managed to get some help over it, and in the meantime, our felucca was being brought to the only pier that we could find that didn't have steps down to the water. We met Captain Mustafa and his crewmate and they helped us across the uneven wood slats towards his family boat, the Queen Elysian. They lifted Rocker in her chair and I shuffled across on board. The motor putted us towards the middle of this mammoth river. The sail was unfurled and we were sailing. We were surprised at how clear the water was. As we slowly sailed south, this wasn't a luxurious catered affair, but the weather was perfect, the crew were kind and helpful, and the scenery was magical. The sun was lowering in the sky as we turned and began sailing back. Our captain couldn't dock at the accessible pier, so in another characteristically Egyptian moment, the crew carried us up the steps to the Corniche. (laughs) When you're traveling, a willingness to problem solve and a genuine desire to help can often overcome any lack of access. If you find yourself in Luxor or anywhere along the Nile, find a way to get yourself onto this most famous of African rivers. It's an experience you'll never forget. This is Ryan at Free Will Weekends. We'll see you out there.